I'm Katie. I'm Anna. She's a psychotherapist. And she runs a photography empire. Together we make music and we podcast to encourage ourselves and you to do the things that scare us most. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Doing Scary Things podcast. Katie here, and I am flying solo for a mini-sode full of encouragement for your day-to-day. This one kind of came out of nowhere when I received a voice text from Anna this morning telling me she was grumpy, and wow, were the floodgates released. I immediately started listing the things she should do to give herself a break and make herself feel better, mostly centered around taking the day off, to which she responded, wow, your next podcast should be about what to do when you feel grumpy. We laughed, we continued on with our lives, but a couple of hours later, because I tend to do what Anna tells me to do all the time, I jotted it down as a possible podcast idea. But it didn't stop there. I quickly realized the advice I was giving to her was coming from what I wish I would tell myself on a lot of days but I don't always because of the amount of guilt and shame involved with taking breaks in our society. So here we are, and I hope you enjoy the thoughts that ensued. I was at a talk last night where they quoted Elizabeth Gilbert as saying that her main job is staying mentally healthy so that she can encourage, help, and educate others. I've thought a lot about that because as entrepreneurs, we create a super long to-do list for ourselves sometimes And we compare ourselves to what other people are doing and we don't always take time to take care of ourselves. Now, I know this will not be relatable to those with nine to five jobs, but if you're on this entrepreneurial journey with us and you've created this freedom for yourself and things are starting to work out, I want to share a little insider secret with you. You are still going to have grumpy days. Yep, I know you're shocked. I know this is groundbreaking news for some of you, but it's absolutely true. We all wake up grumpy sometimes. And I wanted to take a second to talk about it because I think there's a lot of guilt centered around taking time to yourself, even when you have that dream job or dream life. Maybe especially then, actually. My shame tells me I should work more or be more grateful or not need to take time off because I created my own schedule anyway. So if you wake up feeling grumpy today, I have a couple of suggestions of things to try. First, give yourself a mental break. What do I mean by this? Recognize why this feels uncomfortable. Is your inner dialogue telling you that you should never feel grumpy? Is it telling you that you shouldn't need time off and you should be working harder like so-and-so over there? Whatever it's telling you, listen to it for a second. Hear and acknowledge those thoughts and then release them. Let them go. Send them back to wherever the heck they came from. They tried to get you down, but you're smarter than them and you've outgrown them. And ain't nobody got time for that anymore. Second, give yourself a physical break if you need it. Is your body telling you it's tired? Assess the situation. You've been going nonstop for weeks. And oh yeah, you accidentally did actually work for a few hours over the weekend. Entrepreneurs, we all do it. Even if it seems as innocent as checking social media or taking an emergency phone call from a client or brainstorming some ideas when they randomly pop in your head and while they're still fresh. This is still hours clocked working and your body needs a break. Our non-contractor friends would be billing dearly for that time. So take a cue from them and let yourself rest today. And you know what? Even if this is the third day in a row you've rested or you don't feel like you've earned this time for whatever reason, even then, listen to your body. Your body knows what it needs and some seasons just require more rest than others. Who knows why? I could list a few guesses, like your work might be more taxing or emotional at the present moment, or perhaps you're going through a lot in your personal life. But the truth is, when so much of what is happening in our brain is subconscious anyway, we may never know the exact reason, and that is okay. Learn to listen and trust your body and know that resting is healthy and a perfectly okay way to spend your day sometimes. You might be like me and experience a lot of guilt over things like taking breaks. 
I don't know about you, but I've created this kind of life for myself because I want to have some flexibility. I want to have time to take breaks when needed or just when I want to for no other reason. So while I know we focus a lot on being brave enough to start and keep going after your goals on here, let's not forget that creating an entire life you like and are proud of does not have to look like anyone else's. You can take a random Tuesday off if you want to. You don't even need to have a reason and you don't even need to feel grumpy either. Remember that pesky little quote, how you spend your days is how you spend your life? Now, I know this could be interpreted a couple of different ways. However, when I hear this quote, I begin to visualize what it will be like to be near the end of my life and looking back at how I spent my days. Will I pat myself on the back for all those days I sat lifeless in front of a computer screen or the hours I spent posting and scrolling on social media just because that was what everyone told me I had to do to have a successful business? I don't think so. I'm not advocating for hours of doing nothing here or sitting in front of the TV screen or however you prefer to veg out either, but there certainly needs to be some sort of balance. We need to be spending our days in ways that have and add value to our life. Otherwise, our future selves might end up very bitter and regretful, longing to have those hours back. Do this with me really quick. Think back over the last 10 or 15 years of your life. I'm 35, so that encompasses my entire 20s and 30s up to this point. It's a big chunk of time but it also went by really, really fast. I imagine the last 10 to 15 years was probably the same for you. And while we can never make a list long enough to include all the things we learned during that time period, whether at your job or in relationships or what have you, what stands out to you as being most memorable from that time period? Now, you might start thinking about the things you accomplished or the relationships you formed or moves to different cities, but here's my point. You're probably never going to remember the days working, the ins and outs, the carpools, the errands. You're going to remember the really big, meaningful things. And hopefully there was more time spent on those than on anything else. So what do you do when you feel grumpy? First, tell yourself it's okay and that it's perfectly normal to feel grumpy from time to time. And then Do something that makes you happy. Watch a TV show, have an extra cup of coffee, have a piece of chocolate. Unless, of course, you're Anna and allergic to chocolate, in which case that would be bad. But do all the things. Yes, emotions are fleeting, and we can't give in to every single one of them every time one pops up. But let's be real. Everyone's grumpy sometimes, and chances are it's a result of not giving yourself a break to feel or process something going on in your life. So do it. Take a break. I give you full permission to sit on the couch and do nothing today. Your goals and your dreams and everything else that you need to do will be there tomorrow. Heck, give yourself time to feel grumpy, like really feel it. You might even realize why the grumpiness is there to begin with, and then you can move on from it. And better yet, call, text, or Marco Polo a friend. Tell them you're feeling grumpy and see what they say. Chances are they're going to understand and they're also going to give you permission to. And guess what? I'd be willing to bet that once you allow yourself to feel your grumpiness and take some time off to do something that brings you joy, even if that's taking a nap for goodness sakes, you're going to come back tomorrow more ready to work than before and you're going to knock it out of the park. Why sit and struggle with something for eight hours unrested when you can come back and do it in three after you've had a nap? So cheers to you and that nap you're about to take. Enjoy every second of it guilt-free and we will see you next week. Thanks for joining us today on the Doing Scary Things podcast. If you liked today's episode, please subscribe so you never miss one, leave a review, and share it with a friend. You can find our new album, Whisper, under the band name Jasper and Jade. Until next time.
here goes nothing. Uh, spell check.